Phobia is an anxiety disorder defined by a persistent fear towards a certain object or situation. And I do not know who in the world was so free to name the whole list of phobias associated with every single type of fear. And most of the names, you can never relate it to the actual fear itself. Ablutophobia is the fear of washing or bathing. Bathmophobia is the fear of stairs or steep slopes. And Chorophobia is the fear of clowns. Ladies and gentlemen, today I have a confession to make. Take a look at me, such a tall, strong, and handsome young man. But I admit, I am afraid of cockroach. I am afraid of cockroach. And the fear of cockroach is called katsaridaphobia. And I thought the name katsaridaphobia sounded more like the fear of a Japanese deep fried chicken salad. Chicken salad phobia. I remember when I was four or five years old, I was at home doing my favorite kindergarten homework, coloring. And I noticed across the living room on the curtain was this dark brown patch. I ignored it at that time as I did not know what it was. But, and it's at a safe distance. But suddenly, the scariest thing happened. It opened its wings and flew. Pop! Landed directly on my back. And before I had any time to react, my mother saw it. A boy, don't move! Cockroach on you! She grabbed the newspaper and the bug spray. She smacked the cockroach on my back. And as it fell to the ground, proceeded to spray at it. That incident was when my Casarida phobia started to manifest. My mind had associated this cockroach as and disgusting evil creature that must be exterminated on sight. Kill it before it make babies. Burn it with fire. As I grew up, there were a few more bad encounters with these disgusting evil creatures. In primary school, I remember one day my stomach was not feeling well. Teacher, teacher, stomach ache. I ran to the toilet. I closed the door, took off my pants and squat down. <laughs> Diarrhea. And as I looked forward, this cockroach, this huge cockroach was at the door frame. It's so huge. At the door frame. <laughs> and I was putting there. I was petrified, I was frozen, I could not move. I could not look away. And I did not want to look down because the diarrhea is still dripping. <laughs> Praying, please go away, please. But he just stood there, waving his antennas. I was trapped there by the cockroach for the entire period until the teacher came looking for me. Knocking on the door, the cockroach must have felt the vibration and started to dash around quickly. Ah, I screamed and I cried. And the teacher had to force the door open to rescue me, crying there in cold sweat. Pantsless, half naked, diarrhea still dripping. <laughs> As if I was possessed by a ghost. Then it comes, even in college time, I was having supper at this roadside mama. And again, this cockroach was at the drain cover, always trying to creep up on me. And I decided then, it is time I face my fears in front of my friends and some girls from the next table. So I stood up, took a deep breath. I missed. <laughs> the worst part is five more cockroaches rush up from me. <laughs> One ever running up my leg. I shook it off and I ran away. But the mama boss was yelling, Oi, belum <laughs> So embarrassing, I had to go back and pay for my meal. My friends were laughing at me, the girls were laughing at me, and I tell you, the cockroaches must be laughing at me as well. <laughs> I really wanted to overcome this fear, so I went online to do some research. Turns out that there are many more severe symptoms of phobia, including panic attack, rapid heartbeat, 
difficulty breathing, and even fainting. And some even get scared by looking at photos or just hearing the name cockroach. Now, there are a number of solutions I found from the internet. Number one, eat cockroaches. <laughs> Go to Thailand street market, they sell them there, deep fried with dried chili. Or you buy them raw, cook soup, drink cockroach soup, ew, no. Next method is called the shock or exposure therapy. You get your friends and family to help you. Throw cockroaches at you. Please <laughs> expect it. The way is to get scared so many times until you are immune. <laughs> you know. Still too extreme for me. Ah, this third method is called the cognitive behavioral therapy. It is meant to elevate the fear by changing the way a person thinks about cockroaches. I just need to understand them. Cockroaches cannot directly harm me, unlike a poisonous scorpion or centipede or spider. They just spread bacteria and diseases from the sewers and garbage. But that only ranks them at the same danger level as a fly. And I'm not afraid of flies, they are just annoying. So, next time I encounter a cockroach, I will remember to keep calm and shoo it away like a fly. After this therapy, it's not like I can start loving cockroaches and pets, play with them or sleep with them. But they do not freak me out as much anymore. And I believe this method can be applied to any other type of fear. You just need to admit it, then you understand it, and finally be able to face it. And nevertheless, cockroaches are still disgusting and should be eliminated on site <laughs> before they make more babies. <laughs> Back to you.